if you're not growing as a software startup, no one is going to invest in you. And unless you personally have the money or you know someone who personally has the money and they're going to give it to you, um, you have to go, you either have to have a solution that's immediately profitable and able to bring people on from that revenue mm -hmm. or you have to bring in outside capital. And if you're not growing at a reasonable rate, you can forget about outside capital. Nobody's going to invest. Um, so it's a, it's a real balancing act. You, you don't want to overcommit yourself, certainly. Uh, you also don't want to put your foot on brakes because you know, you're growing to keep the company viable for rapid growth and, and you know, for better or for worse, the uh, the startup ecosystem often is take some investment capital, use that investment capital to grow, get pretty close to break even or maybe a little bit past break even, take some investment capital, spend more money, you know, use it to grow, get pretty close to break even, take some more capital, you know, and it's a uh, it's a cycle. You know, and you know, eventually you say, OK, I've I've taken enough capital, but uh, until you're really where you want to be as a company, that's always going to be a consideration. You know, when do we need to talk to investors again and you know, take on some more capital? And again, without growth, uh, nobody's going to be interested. So even though it's scary sometimes to, to you know, land big new customers and, and uh, bring them on, you have to, uh, you have to grow.